so I want to make a video because apparently I can't manage to to get any traction on the campaign of the people that I'm helping. Well, not enough, unfortunately. And uh, the, the the fact is that uh, I would like from you <coughs> just a bit of uh, of understanding of what's going on uh, there. You know the subject that I'm talking about. And uh, it's very difficult trying to help everybody. I know that. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking you only to recognize them, don't report them, and try to verify if they are real people or not. Uh, it's, it's very easy. It's enough uh, exchanging some words with them. They can provide you proof that they are real and they are genuinely asking for help just for food, medication, water. Uh, shelter just to live in their tent and uh, uh, arrange to with anything temporary that they can find uh, but most of the time they also need uh, a little bit of money to to um, to provide a better shelter and, and that's it because when it rains uh, the, it gets very difficult it, uh, it rains in this uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, improvised the uh, tent where they live uh, all together, uh, and uh, the, the situation is getting very harsh. Uh, as you know, the north side of their area is completely destroyed. Uh, they already took uh, occupation of their land, and they tortured them and asked them to don't go back to their land anymore. The few that managed to be displaced and they, they are still alive, many of them. Uh, you probably don't know either because uh, media don't don't show you anything. They just show you Hamas, it's Bola, Hamas, it's Bola, it's Bola, it's Bola. But it's not like that. What they're doing, they just finished to do that with uh, the people from the north side of Gaza. Now they're starting to do the same in Lebanon just to take their lands with the excuse of fighting the, the terrorism. I want to see where is this terrorism because uh, it's about uh, 12 months that I see... Uh, entire building uh, completely destroyed with maybe nobody in about the terrorist and uh, and if it happens that they manage to catch somebody they will make uh, a mass uh, mass media information that they, they catch them they catch them but they don't they don't stop to kill the innocent people the children women and uh, I believe this is all a strategy because they don't want, uh, they, 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 they point immediately, uh, firstly they point to kids and women, so they are not able to procreate anymore. They leave men alive, the few of them, and, uh, and they just try to torture them uh, psychologically to never return to their land. And uh, the situation is unbelievable. Uh, I'm not showing, I'm not really posting uh, everything that they send me because it's, it's too much i don't want to i don't think it's the the right uh, technique to to show you what's going on but i receive uh, privately on uh, whatsapp and telegram and uh, and also lately also on, uh, on instagram but i try to to tell them to don't uh, send me anything don't talk to me on uh, instagram and to rather use whatsapp because they get uh, banned on daily basis uh, they, they they start getting banned uh, from weeks already, but uh, this week, uh, especially last two days, uh, like twelve people that I was in touch, uh, they, they got banned and they they can't uh, they can't uh, uh, keep uh, begging because that's what is uh, literally they just uh, try to to get the minimal necessity for water and food and shelter and medication. I have a father asking. Uh, telling me that uh, before the war, the medication for the skin disease of her daughter was costing around $30. Now it's costing $150. And uh, it, it's not an easy by myself trying to help everybody, even uh, if I have my own child, children, and every time I think of my children and people, uh, sometimes my friends, they, they complain to me that uh, I care too much of these people. I should care more of the people around me. Well, the, the fact is that the people around me are bloody fine. Uh, and all the people around me, they get helped by me, uh, not only my family. Uh, uh, 
I always try to, to help anybody around me, so there is no excuse for, for you to not doing the same and start recognizing them. If you don't have money, it's fine. Just, uh, just reshare on your story and explain what's going on. Just bring on the truth. That's, that's what, uh, that's what uh, just I'm asking. And uh, if you have five, five dollars, five euro, anything you have, it's nothing in your pocket, but it can change their life because 10 of you, it makes $50 and $50 will, will be enough to feed a family of six. Uh, yes, just a family of six because food is super expensive. Only a refill of water, it costs $5 and it's not even clean water. It's, a, it's water that is, is making six many, many people. Uh, and the situation is unbearable. Uh, pampers, uh, diapers, they can cost up to $150. You might not believe me, but, but it's the truth. Everybody is telling me this, and uh, obviously they can show me a receipt or whatever, but uh, I'm just asking you to recognize them, to give them some support. If you can give them money, just be nice with them, speak with them in chat. They just want to be recognized, they just want to be listened, and they want to tell their story. That's it. It doesn't cost anything listening to a story of somebody. And that actually give them a, a bit of more hope to keep going until some angel uh, will not save them, will will finally save them. So again, uh, the, the basic of the crowdfunding, it's not that you have to save somebody with 100, 200, 1,000 dollars. There's somebody in, in our campaign that donated even uh, 1,000 dollars and obviously wanted to stay anonymous. But, but but really, if, if all of you, just my contacts, would donate five dollars, five euro, and put a bit of tips for the platforms, it would easily give them uh, a bit of money to keep going. Many of them, uh, they can't even escape from that. They can't go anywhere. A uh, few of them managed to raise enough money uh, with the Egyptian uh, a travel agency that now they got also banned by the, the by the government because they were helping people and uh, to to get out, but it was very very expensive. So many many of them they just want to survive now. There is nothing wrong uh, to survive, and it's not right that you guys uh, uh, don't click on their link. They don't don't uh, report them for spam. They don't, they don't get in touch with them. It, it's very easy to see if they're scammer or not. Just ask them, ask them to, to write a piece of paper with your name, the date of today, and somebody that told it. So you can see that they're real people, they're real human like us. So I don't see anything wrong with sending, a, uh, with talking with them or sending a $5 on PayPal or, or on their uh, legit campaign. And again, uh, for all the people that I'm uh, in touch, they are all uh, verified and vetted by me. There is a special uh, website where I'm collecting all the all these people gallery with all their fundraising. And uh, my, I'm trying to get in touch with many more uh, bigger influencers because obviously by myself I can't do much. I can just uh, give them uh, hope and uh, telling them that I'm working on it. But uh, I, I can do everything alone. Thanks, thanks God. Uh, a friend from Nigeria offered me help, and tomorrow he's gonna start with me. Uh, try to follow up with all the social media that I'm uh, managing by myself. And uh, yeah, she's gonna give me a great help uh, and uh, instruction how to, to do the best that they can to, to raise uh, a bit of money for food and other basic things. And uh, the situation is unbearable, you really, you just skip on and maybe you didn't even arrive to this long video, but the situation is unbearable. And uh, if you if you please, if you contact me privately uh, on my profile, there are WhatsApp, there is Telegram, there is everything to get in touch with me for. If you don't want to use Instagram, if you want a video call me, call me and ask me what's going on for real, because you guys probably don't know what's going on. Because if you knew what's what's really going on, you would be ashamed because what is happening them to them, uh, one day it could happen to our children. We are, uh, they are dehumanizing us. You guys keep scrolling, you, you guys keep uh, skipping the video. I know you, none, none of you click the links. I know, I know it for sure because I have all the stats. I'm not doing any traction. I know, I know that for sure. But, uh, but I'm just asking uh, to get a bit more human. 
I'm not asking anything else. Just talk to them. Give them some hope. Give them, tell them that you, you're going to try to raise $50 from your friends, from your partners, and them uh, some money for basic things. There is nothing wrong with that. And I guess it's actually uh, part of being a good uh, good Christian, like a good Muslim and a good, a good Jew and uh, any other religion, Hindu, any other religion in the world. I actually, I got more traction for my Indian friends than, uh, than uh, my Western friends, so Americans, European, and so on. I, I, don't, I don't want to be impolite, but those people, maybe they know better what, what it means, uh, uh, starvation and, uh, and, uh, and suffering. Uh, we in Europe probably forget, forgot what it means. Maybe our grandparents knew it, but uh, we forgot. We, for we are not human anymore. You're not showing any humanity. And uh, I don't want to be upset with you. Any, everybody is, uh, is free to think uh, uh, whatever they want, but I don't want this world for, my, for the future of my children. I don't want, because if, they, if you are loving this to, uh, to them, one day we will allow this also to, to our uh, future uh, adults, people, our, our children. And this is, this is not right, so please. Just do something. She's not just scrolling, put the likes on the nice, uh, nice girl shaking their bum and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, please do something because the situation is unbearable here, and uh, I really need help. It's two o'clock now. I'm still waiting. One uh, of my friends. There are two doctors, and uh, and yeah, I, I have to help them with something. And uh, uh, one, I have to try to open a campaign uh, for him and uh, try to raise something else. But yeah, the. Some big influencer will soon come up, and uh, I'm sure of that. And there is a, uh, there is this website where I vetted all the people myself and added in this gallery. They're all uh, genuine people that are really looking just for the basic needs. So if you can all uh, try to listen to them and put some likes and show them that we recognize them, even if you don't want to send money, it would be very nice because. Uh, they're human like us, yeah. That's that's all what I ask. If you if you can do it, thank you.